Hey, what up, YouTubers? Um, this is a custom firmware update video. Um, how to update your custom firmware from when you start it with your Pandora's and Magic Memory Stick. It will be at 3.71 M33, and you can upgrade it straight to 3.80 M33, and then 3.90 M33. Then, if you want, you can go ahead and get the Dash 3. It's because it's the latest um, update. I'm just going to show you the site that you're going to have to go to to get your custom firmware, which is Dark. Oops. Dark Alex. Whatever. Dark Alex. If you type in Yahoo or Google, it'll pop up and it'll be the first one. Whatever. It says Dark Alex for all of them. Um, so, you will go there, and I'm just going to show you the custom firmware. So, when you get there, it should look like that, or before, you'll click on the PSP one, and all the custom firmwares are right there. So here's, um, the ones I'm telling you to get are the releases, the first ones, so get the 3.80, um, M33 release, not dash 2, dash 3, etc., you know what I'm talking about. So just get the releases, the first ones. Get those two, and if you want to run your emulators, go down to the next um, setup, which is the kernel 1.5 kernel add-ons, which you need to run emulators except for Nintendo. Um, get the version 2. I don't know why, but the version 1 did not work for me. You can also get it for the others, but I would. Uh, the links I have are. Um, it's for 3.90. Uh, M33. So get the version 2 if you also want to put this on there, which you should, because you might as well get it. So if you're doing anything else and you need to get anything. So that's the custom firmware site where you can get them. Um, all the links, or I mean all the files that I'm going to tell, or that you need to get will be in a link and will be labeled or whatever. So you know which ones they are. Um, let me see real quick. Um, I'm not going to download them because I already have them set up. So I'm going to show you right now what it does. I already have the 3.90 M33 on there and I'll start it. You can watch this for a second. Um, what you're going to do to get these files or the custom firmware to run, you need the official Sony firmware. The ones, like, when you updated your PSP, if you ever did, when you got your PSP, is, see, it runs just like that, and but it actually loads the custom firmware instead of the official firmware. So, click on Accept. Oops, wrong button. Click on Accept, and it'll say whatever, all the crap. Um, and it says, press X button to start, blah, 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 all the bullshit. And then it just loads it up. And while this is loading up, I will show you what you're going to have to do. I already have my own folder set up. Um, I just put them in their own folder so I know where they're at. Um, there's the M33-3, which is the last one you should put in. Or, I mean, of course, it's the last one you're going to have to put in. But I already upgraded mine, but I'll show you through the 3.80. See this file right here? is the official, I mean the custom firmware file and then this one over here is what you're going to have to do is when you get the official Sony firmware I would go ahead and get the official Sony firmware links first click on them, put them on your desktop and rename them before you go ahead and get the custom firmware and everything so yeah you're just going to rename them so just by looking at this picture that's what you're going to have to put it as you're just going to have to rename it 3.80. I mean, 3.80. No points in between the 3 or 8. It has to be exactly the number, 3.80. So, just 3.80.pbp, and that's all you have to do. Same as the 3.90, which I'll show you also. I have it. And the kernel 1.5, and I'll tell you in a second. I'm just going to show you the update. This is the 3.90 update. And there goes the custom firmware folder, and here is the official firmware file, or this is the file too. But so you just rename it just like you renamed the 3.80, or 80, 
I forgot what it says when you download it, but do them one at a time just to make sure you don't rename the wrong one. Um, look, I'm still taking forever for this to load, but um, that's all you have to do is just rename them. Three point, I mean, 390, no points in between. <clears throat> and dot pvp so, so let me show you for the kernel 1.5 add-on you will have to get there will be I would do this also first before you go ahead and get download all the custom firmwares just get the official firmwares and rename them all and this one is 150 dot pvp that's what you're going to have to rename this one and this file is the um, the official firmware one, the well, this file, the one that's named 150.pvp, is the one you're gonna have to put in the root of your memory stick. Don't put in any folders. Just put it by itself where you can see it on the root of your memory stick, and you're good to go. And then you just go ahead and drop the update folder. I mean the kernel at installer. You'll just drop it straight into your game, and that's all you have to do. This same as the update folders, you just drop them in there, but do it one at a time because you can't have them both in there at the same time because it's the same name for the folder. So that's it, and that's basically it. Then you just load them up on your PSP, which this one is done. And press X. So it's done. Whatever. Um, it'll restart itself. And basically, that's it. If you need any help or have any questions, send me a message on my channel. Um, and everything will be in the description to the right of the video. The, you know, so just do the links. Do what I told you. Get the official firmwares first. Rename them. Then drop them into the update folders after you get the custom firmware. Um, so you'll be good and you just drop them straight into the update folders the 3.80 folder that you'll make yourself whatever the update folder <clears throat> and you're good to go and if you like I said if you have any questions or you know just send me a message directly so I can get back to you instead of putting a comment on there and uh, if you guys have any question I mean any videos you guys want me to put out that you can't figure out why it's not working or something you're trying to put on your PSP um, just send me a message saying what you want me to put a video out for or how to get it to work or you could just ask me a question but I'm looking for suggestions for videos um, my other video that I want to make pretty soon I should I might do it after this but if not I'm putting out a time machine video how to install it how to do it and with the time machine you do not need a Pandora's battery anymore but you do have to have custom firmware to use it so, um, the time machine is a downgrader and upgrader, but you don't have to use your Pandora's battery, I guess. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to figure everything out, do it, and then I'll, I'll make a video for it. And what else was I going to do a video for? Um, I also found a good site that you can get, like, IR shell and, um, what are they, homebrew applications, I guess, or whatever they are. Um, you can download them straight off your PSP with the Wi-Fi connection to the Internet. You can get them straight off the browser and copy the files straight to your memory stick on your PSP without connecting it to the computer or doing anything. Um, I'll also put a video out for that, too. So, yeah. That's it.